If you are hoping to have a smoother transition phase of childbirth, you'll want to listen to this short tutorial. My name is Jessica. I am the founder of Mama Shakti Prenatal. Mama Shakti means mama power, and I'm here to support you through pregnancy, childbirth, postpartum, and motherhood. So the transition phase of labor can be difficult because it's the tightest space that baby has to navigate through the final pelvic outlet. And it can be really tiring for mom. It can be kind of a struggle for baby, but there are some movements that you can do to help maximize your pelvic space and give your baby the smoothest, easiest space to navigate as they make their way down through that final pelvic outlet. So this is called the Kiko method. Kiko stands for knees in, calves out. And this can be done with an epidural or whatever your birthing scenario may be. So the knees in, calves out method is bringing those knees closer together so the calves come farther apart, kind of like an inverted V shape. And we can do this a myriad of different ways. I'm going to show you my three favorite ways and two of which are epidural accessible. The third one is actually epidural accessible if you have your provider turn down the amount of medicine that you're receiving toward the end of your labor to allow for a little more mobility in your body. So the first one we're going to talk about is the squat. Now in your hospital bed, you can have the bottom half of the bed lowered so it is lower than where you're sitting on your bottom. And you will likely have an option for a squat bar as well, which is really fantastic because that squat bar gives you something to lean forward and into, lean your weight into, wrap a pillow or a towel around it so it's comfortable, and your hips will be lower than your knees. Oh, excuse me, your knees will be lower than your hips. So it will look like this, and you're going to work on bringing, I'm gonna scoot back so you can see a little better, you're going to work on bringing your knees closer together and your feet further apart. So that's that knees in, calves out that we were talking about. So again, your knees will be a little bit lower than your hips when you have the lower half of the bed lowered. If you're at home or a birth center, you can do this on the edge of a couch or a lower stool or chair. And you'll lean forward and allow those knees to come together and those calves to come out. So that is a squatting Kiko position. The next one we're going to do is an all fours Kiko position. Now again, this one can be done in your hospital bed if you have an epidural, but may require a little more assistance from your birth partners and may require your providers turning down that epidural medicine just a little bit toward the end of your labor so you can get to an all fours position. So what we'll do is we'll take a stack of pillows or a cub, which is that really cool birth cube or a birth ball. And we're going to work on bringing our knees together and our calves out. And we're going to configure our body this way. And we're gonna lean forward onto our birth ball, onto the cub, onto the stack of pillows. So there are a couple ways you can do this. You can elevate the back of the hospital bed so it comes up and you have something to kind of lean into. And if you're on the floor in your home or at a birth center, you can do this uh, against your couch too. We're gonna lean the upper half of our body into our props and give that weight to our props and then bring our knees as close as we can and let our calves splay out. So it looks something like this. All right, the very last one is the most restful of all three of these Kiko methods. And this is the side lying with the peanut ball in between your calves. So your knees come closer together and your calves come out. So I'm gonna show you what this looks like. And you can do this in the bed, on the floor, on a couch, wherever you are. And if you don't have a peanut ball, you can stack up pillows instead. So that looks like this. Knees come together and feet come out. And I'll scoot back just a little so you can see that both my feet are hugging the ball. My ankles are hugging the peanut ball. And that indentation there of the peanut ball allows my feet to be wider and my knees on the other side here are touching. They're together. And if that rubs and chafes at all, put a washcloth in between there. And you're just going to lay down on your side with a pillow under your head and neck for support. 
So that is the most restful of the three Kiko positions. The Kiko method for labor means knees in, calves out, and helps open that final bony level of the pelvis, the pelvic outlet, by up to 20%, so your baby can navigate it with more ease. If you'd like more information on my childbirth education course, you can find that in the description. I'm Jessica with Mama Shakti Prenatal.